Hi, my name is Constantine. I'm a product manager on the developer experience team here at Facebook. And today we're going to be talking about four new tools that help you build engaging open graph apps. We're going to be talking about some updates that we've made to our documentation around common actions. We're going to be talking about a new section we're introducing called review status. We'll be going through some updated tools around creating custom action types. And then finally, we're going to talk about how you can create custom collections for your apps. So first, let's get started with documentation. Within the open graph, we have some common action types, basically actions that you can use to support uh, activities that people take within your app that are natively supported on Facebook platform. These are things like watching a video or liking an object or perhaps reading a book. So you'll notice in our documentation, we are now taking all of these things and separating them against the verticals that they belong to, so something like music or movies or books. From here, you'll be able to select one of the common action types that we support. Maybe let's pick watch in this case. And then you're going to see some documentation that specifically highlights how to use this action. We're going to give you sample code that you can select the platform that you want to use. So in our case, we selected Android. You can copy and paste this sample code directly within your app and then start using it to actually publish these actions immediately. We're also going to highlight some of the different properties that the action type supports and allow you to basically use these things to create richer stories within Newsfeed and on Timeline. Best of all, the documentation is now auto-generated directly from our code. So this means that it will be updated automatically whenever we add new features to these actions. They'll stay up to date and they'll be accurate. Um, and you can use these things now to, uh, to easily use these common action types. Next, I want to talk about review status. So review status is a new section that we're adding into the app dashboard that allow you to easily see the features that you have ready to submit for review and get approved to use on Facebook platform. There'll be a section for your actions. This will include both common action types, things again like watching, and custom action types. In our case, we created an eat action type. You'll be able to submit your collections that you've created, any custom collections that you have for your app. And then finally, you'll also be able to submit your app details so to get your app approved to be used in App Center. If there's any changes needed with any of your submissions, these will also be displayed directly within review status where you can see the different changes that you might have to make to your submission. Uh, click through to go to the section to make these changes and then finally resubmit for review and get your app approved. Next, I want to talk about custom actions. So previously, we just talked about how we have common action types, again, things like watching a movie or watching a video. But there might be some cases where you have activities that people take in your app that are not defined by these common action types. So you're going to want to create your own. You'll go into a new section with the tool called Stories. Now we've basically kind of redesigned the way that the Open Graph tool works to allow you to more easily create these comment or these custom action types uh, and use them to publish stories in Newsfeed. And that's basically what a story represents. Something like Constantine ate a hamburger within an app or something like that. So we're going to hit the Create a New Story button. This then gives me a dialog where I can select the action types I want to use, or if it's not in here, I would add it. So in my case, I click or I typed in eat a food. I added these things into the, uh, the combo boxes, and then I'm going to hit create to generate this story. This then brings you into the story flow where I can customize the story. And behind the scenes, what we did here is we actually created eat and food as new types that you can use. And so basically, you don't have to go through a complicated configuration process. Rather, we just generate the story for you. You can give it a name, and we're going to give you a preview of what this story looks like. From this page, you can edit the tenses if you wanted to correct how the verbs are conjugated. You can edit your attachment, or you can even edit the sentence of the story itself by clicking the Edit button. Finally, when you hit Save, it'll be listed on the Stories dashboard. And on the right, you'll notice a Get Code link. If you click that Get Code link, we're going to generate sample code for you, again, where you can select your platform, both Android or iOS, JavaScript or PHP. And you can copy and paste this sample code and use it directly within your app to start publishing these actions immediately. If you wanted to access some of the more advanced features of Open Graph, you can still do that. It's now under the Type section of Open Graph. Here, we're going to give you a list of all the object types and action types you have associated with your app, both common and custom. And then you can click through to any of these to actually get a list of the properties or add your own. So if you wanted to add some more richer flavor to any of these stories or collections you're creating, or create a more uh, robust data model around your actions, you can do that here. For most users, the Stories tool will be sufficient. You just go and create your stories, and you're finished. But for any of the advanced developers out there that want to create some more custom stuff, they can do that within the Type section. And then finally, let's talk about collections. 
So if you're using any of the common action types, again, like watching a movie, these things will already be supported natively on timeline within a movie section or TV section or something like that. But in our case, we created eating a food, and we want to highlight the top foods that somebody ate within their app. To do that, we can create a custom collection. The process is pretty straightforward. You're going to go, again, under Open Graph. You're going to click the Collections link. And from here, you create, uh, create a new collection. This will bring you to a form where you can give your collection a title. You can pick a layout style. So list might be used for something that's more text heavy with longer descriptions. Gallery to showcase nice photos. Or if you have location information associated with your, uh, with your types, a map option would be displayed here. Finally, I select the action type and the object type I want to use, in my case, eating a food, and I hit Create. That's pretty much it. At this point, it would create the collection for you. You'll go into Review Status so you can submit your Eat Action and your Top Foods collection, get them approved, and it'll be available to your users. That pretty much wraps up our overview of the four new tools that we're introducing to help you create these great and engaging open graph apps. Thanks for watching.